one of the most underrated ways of bringing communities together and bringing love with it bet between communities is interracial marriages. You know, you can do anything. We can talk about unity. We can talk about, you know, love. We can talk about we have to come together at the masjid. But as soon as it comes to marriage, my daughter, no way. Right? It goes right to the no way. No way. You know, brother, you can come have my kebsa, you can have my biryani, but my daughter, no way. Right? That's what happens. And some parents are also protective about their sons like that. But that is a new phenomenon. It wasn't happening when I got married. But this is the reality. And I think that we have to get over this. In order for us to actually truly unite, we have to be able to get married so long as the conditions of marriage are there. So long as those two things that the Messenger ﷺ spoke about, when he said that when someone comes to you, man tardawna deenahu wa khuluqahu, whoever you're happy with his deen and his khuluq and his, his character, fazawijuh, then marry him off. If they have the khuluq, if they have the character, and if they have the religiosity, then marry them off. And I say this why? Because when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about spouses in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what? That Allah from His signs is that He has created from amongst you spouses, right? If you look at the verse before it, and you look at the verse right after it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is actually countering this, this problem and this plague and virus and sickness of, of racism. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the verse right before, He says, from His signs is that He has created you from dust. And then suddenly you ended up spreading in different places within the land, different races, countries, nationalities, and so forth. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, from His signs is that He has created from, a, from within you spouses for you, and He has placed love and mercy for you therein, that has, happens to have a great sign for those people who ponder. Now notice what Allah says right after. He says, from his sign, listen carefully, from his signs is the fact that Allah has created the heavens and the earth and the fact that Allah has given you different tongues and the fact that Allah has given you different colors. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to give us a hint that if you marry, you can marry off between any color and any language and that would be one of the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.